Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined blue and golden ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. Bah! I'm a twin flame. And today I want to talk to you about just several things. Today is May Day. Today is a day of celebration in the Northern Hemisphere, most of Europe. It's also Orthodox Easter. That's the day I'm doing this. So happy Easter, happy May Day. Uh, we don't really have that celebration everywhere here in the United States. But May 1st is also known as Beltane. And I know in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, the celebrations are usually around October, end of October, beginning of November, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, but what this uh, time of year is representing is everything is either blooming or harvesting. So you're either picking up the fruits of your labor or things that you have planted seed on will begin to bloom, which sounds symbolic, but it's more than just fruits and vegetables, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, your love that we're talking about here. So that's what I want to focus on is what does this mean for you? Uh, what does it mean for you and your other, whether you're together, whether you're separate, whether you're straight, gay, transgender, what does it mean? Okay, because we're still going to have some of these energies. Um, that last moon that we had, that was about control and multiple aspects of it. And it's going to continue. So this is um, also a celebration of fire, the sun, solar, and new ways. And as I was writing this, what I was feeling was, especially solar energy in several ways. Um, switching over to set, uh, solar energy, helping people become self-sufficient or less reliable on the old grid. And of course, how do you do that? Twin flames do this by reconnecting with each other and not by outside means, less and less and less. So this is also a holiday of union. This is a day when energies connect of the masculine and the feminine. And yes, even if you're gay or lesbian, those people have it. It's not about the body. It's about the inner connections. Okay. And uh, just to like not get overly technical, but we've all had lives of reincarnation, people. Whether you believe it or not, whether your religion has told you it doesn't exist, it is um, the truth. And so even people that may appear to be one way here have had a life as the opposite at different times. You've all played the butcher, baker, candlestick maker, fisherman, tailor, you name it. You've all played these karmic roles. But this is when things are coming together. Those people that are the red flame of passion, and you know who you are. A lot of you are artists, musicians, um, creative directors. You are somehow connected with something artistic, graphic arts. And also the orange, which this is a lot of people that are seraphim, and in particular countries. And you're still popping open. Uh, not really popping open so much as adjusting and learning from your other and also to and from each other. In other words, it goes on the inside and it's also what's shown you on the outside. And some of it you haven't liked. And I want to also let you know, there are one, two, three, four, five retrogrades you're in right now. I'm not trying to scare you either. I want to point out something. Retrograde does not equal scary. Retrograde is a revisiting. Retrograde is a time where the energies, while it is sort of an optical illusion from an astronomy perspective, for twin flames, what this means is you're revisiting some things that you may not want to, that you may not like, and yet these are only a part of it. When you feel things when things slow down, go with it. Don't get frustrated. Don't get angry. Consider your own reactions. Um, so just to give you an idea, Mercury went retro on the 28th of April. It goes direct 
this month on the 22nd, right around the full moon. And again, I'm going to say it here from about May 20th to May 25th. This is a very significant, it's just, it's twin flame time. It really is twin flame time. Um, this is the energy of quickness, quick, decisive, taking action, or even if your actions are a non-action, like you don't react, that's part of that. Um, Venus, interestingly, is not going retrograde at all this year. Venus, those feminine energies are full steam ahead. And a lot of you know this. But a lot of you, you can't do it solo. You still need the masculine energies. So when things slow down, go with it. This is when you'll be receiving. Uh, Mars went retrograde on April 17th. It goes direct, not until almost the end of June, June 29th. And what the Mars is, is no fighting. So red flame of flat passion people, Channel that passion into something else, not fighting. Drama does not equal passion. Okay, learn to and from each other. And that's not a blaming thing. Many people who are from the red flame of passion actually have elevated and they're not interested in fighting. But you're also helping get the fight out of other people simply by focusing on each other, believe it or not. Like you're turning your back on old ways. That's how you do it. Um, Jupiter went retro in January on the 7th, and it goes direct the 9th of this month. That's the magic. This is where the magic is. What? Those seeds you planted, it's going to start blooming after the 9th. So again, I'm going to tell you, believe, trust, allow, receive. Believe, trust, allow, receive. Do it. Because you, your magic that you've been thinking, thinking, isn't going to happen. It's going to start happening. Saturn goes, uh, went retro March 25th and goes direct way out in August. Now, right after the Lion's Gate. And yeah, there's a Lion's Gate every year. So that's when we line up with uh, the planetary system of Sirius. What is the Saturn energy? This is going to be redirection. This is going to be new plans. So see, these energies work together where when Mercury goes retrograde and people say, oh, gosh, uh, I can't use electronics. It's not about that when it comes to your union. It means that the thoughts or the way that your head planned it out, all those heads or all those thoughts or analysis or any of that, gets kind of dashed to the wind. And that's another thing that happens in March. It's the changing of the weather patterns. So a lot of this is all tied together. Solar winds actually drive the weather patterns here on this planet, and pretty much every planet, but we're the ones living here. So it affects us. And as weather patterns change, things will change, things will need to change up. So Saturn's energy is redirection, redirecting your head, and redirecting it to the heart. Easier said than done for a lot of people. Pluto. Now, this one, this is actually Pluto-Uranus energy. Uranus actually doesn't go retro until a different time, but they have been in a square. They have been actually a uh, connection, especially since April of 2014. So this is the time where all of this stuff, it's still ongoing. The Grand Cardinal Cross of April 2014 actually is um, culminating in this time. So the Pluto energy, and you're going to, don't cringe when I say this, April 18th, not direct until September, not until right around the equinox. That's your inner darkness. Now, I want to give you a little piece of hope because, as you know, I keep getting messages and signals from the universe. This was so cool when I found this. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Black on one side, black on the outside, and inside, gold. 
golden and black. This is from some kind of a bird. I found this at my grid point down at the beach at Lake Michigan. And there it was just right in the sand, gold part. And I said, you know, the birds around here that have this kind of feather are actually um, usually finches. Very swift, very quick, very um, good parents to their young. And this was highly significant. Isn't it just gorgeous? But anyways, just imagine whole bird. I mean, there we have birds here that are very colorful. Colorful. So the, during these retrogrades, consider your own reactions. Also, people around you. I mean, you're done helping the people and gifting them. Children and other people, which could be family and friends, are having their own heightened senses. And some other signals that I got. So when you talk about the trade winds and the masculine energy, a lot of the bad blood is leaving, a lot of the old stuff. And I had a little comparison here. Like, here is a kiwi. Thank you, kiwis. Um, this is uh, obviously a native fruit to New Zealand. These get imported here. If we didn't have proper trade relations, if we weren't able to get along, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this lusciousness in spring. And I was remembering, okay, like this is an orange, right? Just simple orange. A lot of people are able to eat oranges or get oranges. But here in Chicago, years ago, these um, trade routes in the abundance hadn't been really, you know, planted into place. And I remember that my, uh, my Busha, my Polish grandmother, would manage to get an orange around Christmas time which to her was gold because growing up as a child when she was in Poland and she they got some of the first oranges from Sicily or Greece or Tunisia I mean this was like getting liquid gold for them and so for her she was giving me a gift of gold but for me a lot of us have taken this for granted why because we've we've kind of been ingrained in our old ways and and we have this stuff and yet it is going to even get better i want to let you know that as these things shift and you consider your own reactions you are actually getting better and making everything better cuz that's the vibe you send out so some other signals i got of course uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about this first so let's say you have a couple okay and they're trying to put themselves into oneness sorry i should have fixed her here anyways they're trying to put themselves into oneness and he's like i still remember when you were taken from me why because it's a body memory and she's like i don't understand why you're pushing me away but yet this is yanking away from them why well um I do recall lives in this type of body where I was dark skinned and I'm obviously not in a different body in this life but this is this is one of the key diff this is what this retrograde means you can see here back to roots now this was a um, television miniseries when I was a child where it had been written by Alex Haley. He had gone all the way back to Africa and discovered his roots. And it's a fictionalized account of true dramas that actually occurred to people where they were taken and, you know, enslaved and brought to new lands. And yet, you know, there's been good and bad with all of that. Many people are actually free. You know, she may be very free and yet they're still not fully free. And the next uh, message that came, you are the key. And, you know, this is what it was telling me in this historic fight for equality. But it's not just racial equality. It is equal, equal of all of us. There's no light and dark. There's no masculine and feminine. There is no um, country that's better than another country. And so you know this is um, this was the message you are the key and then it kept seeing keys everywhere you know like skeleton keys this coffee this word in Spanish means key cafe la llave or la chiave or any other word that um, 
means key. This has been a big, big signal, especially for Blu-ray Twin Flames who are the Rowden staff unions. So to help you along here, of course, because things are going to continue going full steam ahead. This Venus energy is pulling everything full steam ahead and stuff is going to continue tumbling out of people. If you are new to this, if you're aware of energies, the effects on your body, you're having what's called ascension symptoms. These are not as simple as ascension symptoms. These are parts of yourself that are either purging and clearing and healing or that you're integrating. And it's a simultaneously coming in your body and going out of your body. So two things that will be helpful if this is very new to you and you want to know if you have an other divine counterpart or twin flame, doesn't matter. Try my new beginnings webinar. It is priced very inexpensively, um, especially by comparison to other places. But I want to let you know, this is very twin specific. $40. Also, and again, um, still useful for this time, daily living in multidimensionality. And I have been doing quite a few um, great, fabulous sessions with people. Thank you so much. Everything, uh, getting to know some of you has just been one of the best experiences of this whole journey. And I thank you. And if you do need help, I'm here. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. My descriptions are on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. And I've got a lot of good stuff. All the ingredients are here. All of the ingredients. And you've got ingredients too. What are you bringing to the table? Why not find out what color ray you are? Why not find out? some of the things that are uh, a lot more detailed that your senses are already telling you are there. Why not give this a try where you can actually um, feel confident? This is one of the things that does come out of the readings that I do. Um, it is energetic, if that's the one that you order, which means that things will be on the move in an accelerated manner. And I'm no newbie to this. I started years ago by doing body work. So I do know about energies and planetary influences. But I also know how do you feel comfortable with it. And that's why I've developed my webinars. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about them because they are very helpful. I get great feedback on them and I've put a lot into them. And of course there is also my voice, which is the vibration of my soul that goes into each and every one that has a vibe to it. This puts in an attunement for you. Along with um, sessions that I do, which are very much uh, a lot of encouraging information and guidance comes through very specific, all kinds of aspects, health, jobs, geographical moves. What is the calling of your heart? And I'm going to be doing some future webinars to kind of distill this down and help people get out of situations and really getting into the life that you want to have. That's coming down the line. For right now, you're in a process. Please be patient with yourself. Please cut your twin some slack. Please cut each other slack. Cut the children some slack. I mean, cut everybody some slack. This is, um, this is going to get easier and easier as we go along. I don't want to alarm or scare you people. I want you to feel confident and empowered. That's always been my objective. I can't make you. But the only person you truly do have an influence on in the entire universe is your other, is your own twin flame. That's a lot of what I talk about in my new beginnings where I tell you how and why that is and what you can do about it. Because your doing is more and more going to be by being who you are. Be who you came here to be. Thanks so much for watching. Check out my webinars. I think you'll enjoy them. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. 
thanks to everyone who has bought a webinar and who has also been able to um, have a session with me. I greatly appreciate it. It's been a real pleasure for me to get to know you. If you want to know a little bit about what's in the webinars, check out my Angel Time videos. Those are a really good primer for you. Uh, have a wonderful week. I will be back with more. Nobody is without guidance, both inside and some outside guidance. I am a new earth guide. That's what I like to consider myself. And a lot of this is feeling as you go. And you're getting excellent at discernment. So keep going. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy your holiday today, whatever it is, your festival. And if you are indulging today, definitely check out my Angel Time video because that will help get your system cleared a lot easier. And um, just have a good one. Have a good week. Bye now.